All right, welcome to chapter three of Shea Blood and Equestria. It is called Ghosts of the Past. Alright, so we'll smoke because you're still broken, but his bleeding nose is no longer an issue. <laughs> Turn from his broken nose and gets to his, his feet. As he finds the fire, and he's slowly spreading. He walks up to it and stomps on it, comes it out in one stomp. This gets Twilight's attention. <clears throat> Alex, are you okay? You just stepped on fire! It's so bright, Twilight. Yeah, I'm fine. That flame didn't even hit me at all. He walks away. Mike's outside and making by Twilight and a couple of royal guards, which makes him a little mad. And, th and thinking of slaughtering any living thing that pisses him off like that again. And Twilight says, Alex, tell me all, uh, uh, all that happened. What was your last memory? You look sad. The death of my friends, that was my last memory. I can't go back, cause I died. Cause I had died. He then goes to the close, to the closet and meditates for a while. A celestial church gets closer to them. He still passes. But he still passes. Two to grabs Alex's and the mm, plate armor. It hums with a horrific glow of which makes Twilight feel uneasy and no longer safe. And he notices it, and he notices a strange smell which gave him a feeling that he had felt before fear for it was I don't know if I to him and it was new and then there was a knock on the door. Uh, Alex opens the door and to be tackled by six cat two light guards. In a magical, magical coma. And load to him. Man Twilight under the chariot as they prepare to head off to Cancer Lot. So yeah, that is, uh, chapter three. I'm gonna add chapter four in here so it's worth the reading. When Alex continues to uh, chapter 4, right, uh, Candlelight Trial, when Alex comes to, he is laying in the chariot, looking very annoyed. He tries to move, but it is in vain, as he is held down by magic. I think Trick says, what am I going to, when I got free, I'm going to kill you bastards and make outfits out of your guts. Then wear them around the city. I want to say. Yes, he is knocked out by a strong up to the face, and when he gets up, he is in a cell, but he still has his armor, for it is bound to his flesh, which would kill him, which would mad the princess and would kill him. And had so they take his blade to his cell. Then lock its door. Do you know that Alex is? No, well, he's about to bend. Titan is about to bend the bars to break free. He hears hoop steps, so he backs up into the digest. Cool. possible. And it was an attempt to hide his badly scarred face. Now is when Celeste comes into view. It's shining before as ever. He's to right beside her. And Twilight says, But Princess, he's an honorable warrior. You wouldn't hurt any pony unless they were about to kill some pony else. Please can we consider. Can't we at least have a trial? <clears throat> Twilight. Twilight. That is what we plan to do. We cannot just kill a creature that seems violent. Till we see that he is a danger to Acostra. Now please relax, Steel. Steel says, Lulu is right. Lulu is right. He will be fairly tried. And then, then, 
If he is a threat, I shall kill him myself. If he is not, he may live in Portyville as its protector. She looks at Alex and sees pain and anguish in his eyes. And after a long while of talking and the talk being recorded, she enters the court and the evidence and he is found with nine hours he is found innocent. And then the jury back to put it with the lives. And Alex says be before age people, I mean ponies. And they get in it. And they began in their trip back. Then the chariot is hit with chains only magic and falls out of the sky in a shower of blood from the now lifeless royal guards that were once pulling it. And Axon looks up and sees a black figure. And then he's gone. We buried the guards. And pay our respects. Then we head to Ponyville. Once more. It now feels like forever. On the ground. I'm doing the really ramp. I was. Um, my arm in the air. And the oddest horror. Washed my. My hair. I mean, my hair in the hardest water possible. And think of ways to find somebody. To love. Hoping that one day. I can settle down. When the day ends, I put my helmet on and get in my hammock. I sleep like a rock, but I'm awakened in the morning to a pony screaming. I look outside, and there was a manticore. To be continued. You know what? I'm going to try and read this in the next bit here. Um, fighting the manticore. <laughs> Upon seeing this, I grabs his sword and jumps out the window, fire burning in his heart, and fueled by rage, despite Twilight's warnings, he charges the beast, dodging its huge stinger. Then he jumps under his back and holds onto the tail of the mental thrashing him around like a rat doll. And Alex begins to lose his grip. And when he is worn out, the magical whips its tail around and sends him flying. And his head hits the fountain by the way, this is chapter like five. It hits the fountain and things get dizzy as the world spins around him. As the magical bats him around like a toy, then smacks him. And then again, and giving Alex a hero's headache. When he hits the wall, he falls to the ground and wipes the blood off his face and gets up. You didn't just fucking hit me. Upon this, he grabs the medical's left paw when it swats at him. It's the other. It just he rips off when the medical's paws. This is a super blood blood. Bleeding stops quickly. It rams Alex once again, sending him through a building, knocking air out of his lungs. They begin dazed in the ground. And you know, begin stinging the fuck out of Alex, but all he does is laugh. The stinger says, Game over, motherfucker. And there's his head. Spray out blood and teeth, then he grabs the tail. Pins down its middle and pulls to the tail, severs. The heart comes in blood, sprays over, all over, but stops. The, the manticore, more angry than ever, charges at him on three legs. The dog is then he kicks the manticore. Then tears him off like he did his other front one. 
it then begins to bite, bite, bite and kick him. And but I, but he grabs its back legs after dropping in its midsection, and it he tears its legs clean off. A massive spray of hot red blood all over, and it once again stops. With its stubby limbs, and to move towards him to try and eat his legs. His blood he kicks it in the face, bursting his eyeballs with a shell of blood that stops in a minute, but then tries to bite him again. Then grabs its little jaws to pull its tissue and bones, snapping and tearing. And as yes, he began to rip the metal jaw off, he rips it at it at maximum strength. The little jaw comes flying off, spraying blood at it. Somehow it still lives. Rams his blade the wolf its mouth, punching into its brain, and within seconds the creature lay still. Then Alex says over the shot points. This is meant to cause high as in tanned and treated Rashin at my office for three days or up. I'm a whip someone's flying back to the Stone Age. Then he heads inside and tends to his wounds the rest of the day. That's chapter three, four and five.